Hi everyone, welcome to this demonstration of Tech Home's The Hub automation app. Using your phone's Bluetooth, you can connect to a range of Tech Home products, such as the TH717 smart controller, which I've got in front of me here. So let's uh, hit scan and see if we can find them. Yep. So I'm going to jump into the TH717 smart motor controller. You can use this controller to control a range of products around your home or workplace, such as windows, doors, opening roofs, uh, a whole range of things, anything you can think of really that uses a linear motor. So I'm going to enter our pin code. Our default is 0000. zero. All right, so I'm going to jump into motor one first. If I hit open here, it's going to open the motors. So you can see them extending out there. If they're close, it's going to stop them. And if they're close again, it will close both the motors. Uh, you can also have individual control just hitting bay one or bay two here. With this controller, you can also use RGB lights. So if I try that to 100% brightness and turn it on. Should be able to get a nice green or blue. It's a nice easy slider. Or white at the very end here. I'm gonna keep that one blue. So if I go into the settings, uh, this is what we're gonna find. So with this new update, we can now rename our devices. So I can say uh, change this to patio uh, roof that's what we're going to be using it for. You can also see all the details around here. We can also go into the motor settings. Again, we can rename it here, uh, change the category type. So if it happens to be a window you're opening, click window. We've got our safety runtime here, which uh, prevents the motors from running for too long. And our presets, which we use for our um, remotes. If we go to the LED settings, we can choose either three bay LED, which gives you individual control of each light port. Uh, we've got three in this motor controller. Or we've got the RGB, which uh, requires all three ports to power that and operate each light within the RGB, the red, blue, and green. We've also got rain sensor sensitivity. So for those using it on opening roofs, if you have a rain sensor set up, you can select either level one, which is most sensitive, it will uh, close on a light drizzle or light rain, or level five, which is the least sensitive, it takes a bit more rain to get that closing. We've also included an auto reopen setting, which means after the rain sensor is dried, it will reopen after a certain amount of time, uh, usually about 30 minutes. Uh, you can also change the pin codes. Uh, learn an RF remote through this. And also sync the time with your phone, which is used for the scheduling. So if I do go into schedules, what you can do is you can choose when you'd like your motors to open and close. Uh, from here you can choose your time, uh, where you want them to open to. So you can take a roof to open 50%. Uh, yeah, I'll save that. And you can tell it which days you'd like to open. So if you only, only want to open on during weekdays, you just select that and hit save. And you can set up to four schedules for each product. So feel free to download this and give it a try. On Android, if you click the uh, top right corner, you can chuck it into simulator mode. Uh, it obviously won't control anything, but it will give you a good idea of what you can do with it. So you can just see how it looks on your phone. Give it a play. Uh, the app is only compatible with Tech Home products. So you can download this app from the Apple Store and the Google Play Store. Uh, it's available now, so um, download it, have a play. If you need any more information, Head to techhome.com.au, that's T-E-C-H-O-M-E.com.au. You can find the link on the bottom of the video. 
and take a look.